Are we live? I think we're live. Let's see. Oh, yep, we are live. Let's test the audio. <gasps> audio is okay. All right, hello everyone. If you're watching this later, my name's Jason. I'm a content creator here on YouTube. I mostly do uh, PC handheld stuff, but I also do gaming PCs and, uh, and other technology videos. So it's my first live stream. Just going to try it out. I think we're going to have a lot of technical issues because there's a lot going on here. Um, mostly this is just going to be a Q&A. Um, I think people are going to come in, can ask me questions. If you want to ask me questions about your gaming computer or your Steam Deck or your ROG Ally or anything, uh, let's talk. We'll hang out. In the meantime, I am playing Final Fantasy XIV, which is a game that I have not played in a very long time. Uh, it's an MMO, and it got very popular recently, and someone asked me to get back into it. So I'm just going to be running around, talking to chat, hanging out, not doing much, so come on by. Um, I am primarily, I would say, a World of Warcraft gamer. I don't really play Final Fantasy XIV, although I did play it when it first came out. Uh, when this game came out in 2010, I, I was there. I, I still have the DVD. That was how long ago it was. PC games were sold in stores, and you got uh, DVDs. Um, and yeah, I, I, I had that. I had. I still have it. Installed it. I was super excited because I was super into Final Fantasy XI, which is the MMO that came out before 14. And I love that. I still love that to this day. And then 14 came out, and it was kind of a bummer on release. It was kind of just nonsense. And then they reworked it and and all that. So I do have an OG account, but I haven't really played over the years. Um, I guess I was kind of soured by the original, I don't know, by the original mess up. And I remember at the time, I was getting a lot of emails from Square Enix saying things like, oh, we're so sorry. You know, we, we tried our best to make a good game. We're not going to charge anyone a monthly fee. We know the game sucks. And they were doing like monthly uh, streams updating people on what they're doing with the game to fix it. And it was really cool because I think that's something a Japanese company only would do. I think an American company would have given up on the game a long time ago and they got a new director and uh, he finally made it, made it happen. Curb and Oz. What's up, man? Australia, dude. Every, <laughs> what's up, man? Good to see you. Every Australian I know, they always use that kangaroo emoji. I, <laughs> so that's awesome. Good to have you. How's it going, man? I've heard kangaroo meat is very uh, tasty. Sorry if that's offensive, but yeah, from, from all the Australians I've heard, they said they uh, kangaroos are a menace and they love to eat them, but they love to use that emoji. How's it going? Yeah, we're just hanging out today. Nothing big. Might just have a few people roll in. Uh, I'm still figuring out everything. If you can hear me, let me know because I don't know if, if my sound is working. I'm just assuming it's working, so we'll see. I think the game audio is not working. It's just a Monday night, you know. I am feeling kind of blue. Yes, you going good. Yes, you can eat. Yeah. <laughs> that, you know, it, it seems so strange to non-Australians to say, what, you can eat a kangaroo? Like, to us, um, people who haven't been to Australia, I think whenever we think of kangaroos, we don't think of, like, a menace that you can eat. We think of like, uh, like an indigenous animal that makes Australia unique and like, they're just living in the wild and, and you just let them be and be free. Um, but that's not the case. So it's just, it's really interesting. I haven't had it myself, but I've, I've heard it's pretty good and pretty high in protein. I can hear great. I only just purchased Steam Deck. Nice. That's awesome. Did you buy it on sale? Because, yeah, it was on sale last week or last month or something. That's awesome. Did it come in yet? They like deer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are exactly like deer. Exactly right. Um, yeah, they're kind of like things that live in the wild, but people, some people still eat them. Yeah. Very true. Yeah, that's awesome about the Steam Deck, man. Really, really cool. I love hearing people say things like, oh, I got into Steam Decks or ROG Allies or whatever because of you. Like, I think that's so cool because I, I think they're such a great, uh, they're such great devices at a low price that I think 
really great for like entry level people to get into or to have portable like a lot of people they've said you know handheld pcs have changed their life which is just crazy to me like changes how they play they have more time to play like people who are too busy or i've heard of a lot of truckers they take it on the go and they said it's like just amazing so i i love to hear that how are you liking it so far I wish I was better at this game. I don't, I'm just running around doing quests. Da -da -da. Is that too big? We gotta make that smaller. Put that right there. Right there. Red Dead 2, Halo, Master Chief Collection, and Doom. I live off grid so I can use 12 volt to charge. Nice. Man, those are some bangers. Those are like. Yeah, Halo, Doom, and Red Dead 2. That's like 200 hours of content. That's awesome. Those are great, great starter games. I really do love the Doom games. I'm not tech savvy. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That's, a, that's also another reason. Like, I don't know. You said you're not tech savvy, so I'm not sure how into creators you are, but there's a lot of people who are kind of in the mindset that, like, if you don't build your own computer that you're not cool or you, you like don't like games or you don't know what you're doing. But I'm like, man, not everyone wants to do that. Not everyone wants to be tech savvy. So I think steam decks are really cool to just, just get in, play games. You don't have to do anything crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. Not everyone needs to be, not everyone needs to build their own computer. That's, I'm, I think we're getting past that at this point as like a community. Uh, but there was a few years there where it's like, you know, if you want to be uh, a, a cool guy in the internet, you got to build your own computer. You can't buy a computer. Got to build it yourself. Um, so as long as you enjoy it, you like playing games. That's all that matters, man. Wait, am I supposed to kill vultures? My Steam Deck uh, actually broke uh, yesterday, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> I have it right here. It is just not, it's not turning on. And I've tried every troubleshoot in the book, and I don't know what happened. Like, it'll turn on, but it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just not working. I grow the food, and you guys do the tricky stuff. That's it. I'm not growing food, so... <laughs> That's what I like to hear. You know, peep, everyone's good at something. I'll I'll handle tech stuff. You handle growing the food. Good society goes round and round. That's what I like to hear. I don't think I could ever grow food, but I'd like to. It sounds fun. But yeah, I don't know. My Steam Deck is just broken, and I'm I'm going to LTX this week and I was going to make a video or two there using the Steam Deck and now it's just not working and that's a big bummer so now I might have to borrow one from a friend because I really needed it for a video. Uh, I was going to go around and ask people questions about PC handhelds or if they've used them or if they want to try mine real quick they can try it um, but it broke so we'll have to see. I don't know. Cool, man. Good to have you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, this is my first live stream. I, I'm surprised even you came in, so I'm happy to have you here. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, feel free to to ask or just hang out. Like I'm just chilling for like probably just stream for like an hour or something. Yeah, appreciate it. Hopefully, in the future, I can do some uh, some streams that are like more hands on. Uh, cause I'm not really like a game streamer. I'm not like a game content creator. I mean, obviously I play games, but you know, I'm, I would rather do something with technology. So maybe in the future just for fun. But right now I just wanted to mess around a little bit. Uh, let's see. 
Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. I'm still new, still learning, still hanging in there. Um, but because of supporters like you, you know, like my videos, I was finally able to uh, buy a new camera to shoot the videos in. So that's thank you. Thank you to everyone who watches. That's that's awesome. Like that was it was enough money to buy a new camera. Uh, for the first up until now, I've been using my phone <laughs> to shoot all my videos on. Uh, and it's okay, but with a camera, I can get a little bit better quality and make things a little bit easier kind of for me. So yeah, thank you. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. It, it, it blows my mind that anybody would watch my videos. So I, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm super, super grateful. Can I teleport here? Nope. Uh, how do I go back? I think I need to teleport to the closest one. Well, I guess I can return. Yes. Unless there's another quest here. Wait, put on. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh, well. Wait, what time is it on, on Australia? It must be super early, huh? What time is it there? How early are you? I mean, you said you grow food, so it's probably like 6 a.m. It's normal for you, I bet. Because I'm, uh, I'm in the U.S., and it's 7 p.m. right now. I should put some music on, or I can turn in the the in-game sound because I have it down quite a bit. Here we go. Background music. There we go. 10 a.m. Tuesday morning. Okay, that's not that bad. Hmm, that's not bad. Yeah, it's 7 p.m. Uh, Monday here. Yeah, time traveler. Yeah. Um. We are planning a trip to uh, Japan and China in the coming months, uh, me and uh, some family members. And yeah, it's interesting. We will like leave here late Monday and like arrive early Wednesday or something. <laughs> like it's like literally like teleporting another day. And then whenever we come back, time, travel back in time. It's so funny how that works. Well, Curb, if you're in the future, you could have warned us about 9-11, and you didn't. So I think you have some, <sighs> you have some explaining to do. I'm really disappointed in you. Okay, I know I'm supposed to watch these cutscenes. I just can't. I just want to play the game. Ooh, whoa, four materia slots? I don't even have any materia. <laughs> I don't know. Dang. Oh, they all suck. This is the only good one. I've been told that before. <laughs> okay, I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> oh, wow, it's really strong. I have bunny ears? Oh yeah. Hey. Cool. I know I'm supposed to like watch cutscenes and stuff, but I just can't be bothered. I just don't care. Okay, put on the Manoa mask and speak with Estane. Whoa, is that Okay, well so I must have a special mask. Manoa boom on and she's right there in this town fantastic oh uh miketo's amphitheater you know
you know, we say that in jest about 9-11, but there are some very, very stupid people in this world <laughs> who actually believe that kind of thing. Like, like they don't understand how time zones play. Like, like, there are just some real dumb people. You know, in the south of USA, what we say is, we say, bless their heart, which is kind of code word for, man, that person is stupid and they can't help it. Oh, they're going to they're gonna have a rough life, so good luck. <laughs> That's kind of what bless your heart means. <laughs> I've never used a computer to game. Nice. So you're, you're very new. Cool, man. That's no problem. What have you been using before, like consoles and stuff? PlayStation, Xbox and stuff? I still use consoles. Yeah. I love them. And yeah, gaming on a computer is a little bit different, man. You got to... <sighs> you got to put in the work sometimes. You got to it's you got to change the settings. The Steam Deck it, it kind of does all this for you, but on a PC, yeah, you can have some people ain't bright. Oh, bless their heart. People ain't bright. What's up the fat man? Good to see you, man. You got family in Maine. Nice. My sister-in-law's from Maine. I've heard it's very beautiful. Xbox mainly. Nice. Well, welcome to PC gaming. I'll bet that, you know, these days is, there's not much difference. Like, Xboxes are basically computers at this point. Um, but there is a lot more you can do. Like, you can't run Photoshop on a on a, an Xbox. Ransacked. My favorite YouTuber is finally streaming. My favorite commenter is finally watching. What's up, dude? We are just hanging out. Nothing fancy, not doing any nerd on a budget type stream. We're just hanging out, doing Q&A. Uh, if you guys want to enter a giveaway, I have a giveaway going right now. The link's in the description. It's a Gleam. So you just sign in, log in, and I'm giving away a Steam Deck accessory. It's like a back plate for your Steam Deck. Uh, ships worldwide. I'll ship to Australia, wherever. It just picks randomly, so I'll, I'll take care of you all. So if you, want that, if you have a Steam Deck, sign up. If not, leave it for someone else. Um, I'm hopefully going to be doing a giveaway every week for like the next few weeks because I have a lot of I have a lot of Steam Deck accessories I need to unload. So I would love to give it to y'all and not just have it sit in my house because like I can only use one power bank at a time. You know what I mean? So I don't want to hold on to a bunch of them. So I'd love to to give it to y'all. So if y'all want to enter, I put the link in the description. It says giveaway link. Just go sign up. Um, would love to ship that to y'all. I said Steam Deck to medium. Yeah, totally fair. Don't even think about it. That's the just play games. Like don't don't get too much. There are some people, they spend so 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 much time worried about like settings and hardware and this and that. It's like just play games. Like that's what it's for, isn't it? Isn't that the whole point? <laughs> so that that's awesome. What's up, Ransacked? How are you? It's nice to see uh, names that I recognize in the chat. So thank you, people who I recognize from the comments, because I read all the comments. Uh, I don't respond to all of them, because not all of them need a response. But it, it, you know, I, I try my best to to respond. And so I see you guys in the comments, and I appreciate you. But if you just joined in, I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV, and I don't know what I'm doing, because. I have not played this far before. But I'm skipping all the cutscenes and I'm just doing quests. I'm just following wherever the map, the little map tells me to go and kill things. Dude, ransacked. My wife watches this, man. What are you what are you doing saying I love you? You're gonna get me in hot water. What are you doing? You know what? Give me your wife's email. I'm gonna tell her what you did. You're done for. You're done here. Oh, crap. You trying to get me in trouble, man? Are y'all able to hear the game audio? Oh, you can't, because it's all the way down. <laughs> Let's see. Can you hear it now? Okay, there we go. Y'all need to tell me these things. Is that too loud? Yeah, I'll turn it down a little bit. Y'all gotta tell me these things. Wait, my wife's 
boyfriend told you to tell me that you love me and he's paying you in eShop gift cards? How do you know Rick? <laughs> Why is it so stretched out? <laughs> it's so stretched out. How do you know Rick? Uh, am I playing the free trial? No, I actually, I bought it. So I actually, I, I was explaining this earlier, but I actually have the game. I bought it when it originally came out. Like I have the DVDs for it. So I do have an OG account. And uh, so this is not the free trial. I did play, pay for a month subscription right now. And I have the uh, Endwalker expansion. It was like 20 bucks. So I thought, why not? Uh, I have a friend who plays this recently and, and he's been super into it. So I wanted to join in. He's a friend from college. So, you know, we'll see. I have access to the full game, but I really don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, my, my webcam. <laughs> what a fail. I set it up <laughs> so that I could have a second scene of full screen, and it's like such a stretched image. <laughs> it looks so bad. Streaming is an art. Like, I finally understand. Like, there are YouTube content creators who's... Oh, my God. Okay. They're, they're, like, their whole channel is dedicated to, like, showing people how to stream properly. And it's an art. Like, you, you have to get used to, like, working all the scenes and doing all that. And there's, like, so many settings. I'm just going basic. I'm just hanging out. I'm not a streamer. I'm not going to be doing this full time. Maybe I'll do this once every few weeks just to hang out, get to, to hear y'all. Yeah, dude. Nob has, like, years of experience at this point. He's got it down. He's still, like, he. I think Nob likes uh, a very simplified stream. He doesn't like going overboard. Uh, but even then, he does have some, like, alerts and, like, a gif of him dancing to some music, which is kind of strange. Getting all the settings down is wild, yeah. I think you can really get into the nitty, just like anything, right? Like any, especially for computer hardware, you can get into the nitty gritty and get lost with like AV1 encoding and this and this setting and this noise gate. And like, you can really go overboard. But if you look at like the top streamers, look at like Moist Critical, Asmongold, Soda Pop, and I don't know, all these people, they don't use any of that stuff. They have like a nice camera and they have like two or three scenes and they just go. So it's like having all that fancy stuff does not necessarily a good stream make, but it is fun. And it is fun to play with settings just like it's fun to play with hardware stuff. So I, I, I get it. Um, but personally, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> you can 100% copy someone's settings and get different results. Yeah, absolutely. Because everyone has different uh, hardware. How we get Steam Deck. How, Demon Mist said, how do we get Steam Deck? I don't know how you get Steam Deck, man. You can buy it from Valve. Uh, just type, you can google.com Steam Deck. Uh, but if you want a Steam Deck accessory, there's a link in the description for a giveaway I'm running. It's not a Steam Deck, but it is like a backplate that looks pretty cool, so. And I'll mail that worldwide. I copied someone's config for AMD and it looks like hard leather sitting in the heat. Uh, yeah, I can tell you why that happened. And it's not about the settings. It's because you went AMD. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, that's right. It's like, AMD. Oh, my God. It's like, why would anyone do that? But, yeah, even if, like, you go on to... Like, I remember when Cyberpunk came out, everyone was like, these are the best settings for Cyberpunk to get past all the garbage. No. It, like, sometimes it just doesn't work. You could have the exact same config, and it still wouldn't be the same, like... It just wouldn't work. Wait, no Steam Deck. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Demon Mint. A 4090? Damn. Ransacked as a Chad. Big Chad energy. I wish I had a 4090. I wish I was one of those YouTubers that were, like, really popular, and they, like, I can just hit up NVIDIA and be like, I need a 4090 
and they're like, got you, king. And they just send it to me. That would be amazing. I don't have that kind of pull now. I will email NVIDIA and I'll be like, hey, I need a 3050. <laughs> and they'll reply back with nothing because they, <laughs> they don't reply back. <laughs> they ghost me, <laughs> which is fair. You can't give out free graphics cards to every no name who hits you up. But yeah, I wish I had that kind of power. I bought a Steam Deck because I have a kid on the way, and my time on Pete is going to drop quite a bit. I've heard that a lot, Fat Man. I've heard that a lot. Ransacked, I have both the Steam Deck and a Rog Alley because I don't have much time to sit at my desk to play. Yeah. So these are kind of like, oops, these are kind of the, the same thing, right? And I've heard that a lot. Like, man, it's like so, so many people feel like, tethered to their desk and they would love to play more games but they've got like a kid in the living room or they've got like other responsibilities or they're not home often and so i i just i love that for people i love that we're able this wasn't possible a few years ago like yeah of course we had gaming laptops but they were like expensive they're still expensive and they weren't super great they always overheated and everything and so now we have this small compact portable computer that you can do whatever with and it's i love that like, I, I've heard so many people, y'all should read the comment section. People go crazy. They tell me, like, it's changed my life. Like, I have a kid now, and I'm still able to game, and and I don't, I don't have to give up, you know, my hobbies and stuff, and I feel so free, and, like, I, yeah, it's, it's awesome. I love it. I'm glad y'all y'all are enjoying Steam Decks and Rog Alleys because I, I think they're super cool. And this channel wasn't, like, originally meant to be specifically like a handheld PC channel. It just kind of ended up that way. Um, because I will make videos about other stuff and nobody watches them. And then I'll make, you know, a Steam Deck video and everyone watches them. So give, give the people what they want. And I love Steam Deck, so whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm cool with it. It'd be one thing if I hated, if I, it, I would not make content about something I didn't like because that would be super boring. I don't know how people could do that, but uh, I love this kind of crap. So um, it's, it's definitely like my dream. Where do I go? Where's the quest? It said it was here. No, I just missed it. That was it. That was it. No, 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 no. I saw it. I saw it. Where'd it go? Old Gridania. Boom, right there. Next to the Conjurer's Guild. Why is it making me run around? I can see it. Wife in labor and you're playing Steam Deck in the waiting room. That's actually not that far off. Uh, my friend actually did do that. Uh, he recently had a kid about four months ago. And yes, while they were in the lobby, um, so she went into an early labor, but her water did not break yet. And I think at that hospital, they don't give you a room until your water breaks or something. So they were kind of waiting it out in the lobby. And yeah, he was just out there just playing on a Steam Deck. <laughs> I think it'd be better if he was like in the room, you know, one hand holding her hand saying, you know, push, push, honey, push. And in this hand, he's like, you know, doing maps on Diablo 4 or whatever. <laughs> I did that when my wife had our child recently. Chad, dude. Chad move. <laughs> that's the way to do it. And that's that's awesome. I, I don't think I don't see any problem with that. You gotta get your game in somehow. Uh, okay, I need to go to the Conjurer's Guild. There it is. Yeah, I'm actually going to uh, LTX this weekend which is the Linus Tech Tips convention in Vancouver. Uh, meeting up with Nerd on a Budget. I'm sure some of y'all are familiar with him. Um, and we are going to head up there together and hopefully have a good time. He, you know, Danny is super popular. He's a big name guy. And so um, he has a lot of friends, like other creators who he hasn't seen in a few years. So I'm, I'm sure he's like super excited to see them. Uh, so I'm happy for him to see them. I'm glad they can all get together. And I'm excited to meet all of these YouTubers and content creators who I, like, watch and respect. Um, you know, people like Zach's Tech Turf, Toasty Bros, 
you know, Jay's Two Cents, all those people. They're all going, so it's going to be super fun. LTX is LTT's event. Yeah, dude. It is 100% ran by Linus Tech Tips. Isn't that weird? They run a convention. <laughs> it is 110% their event. They run it in-house, and they uh, buy out the convention center for the weekend. It's my first time going, but I've heard it's super, super fun. Um, but I feel like it's it's not as big as like a PAX. I think it's more like a, if you have to be into technology YouTube to like have a good time. I, I feel like it's like very particular because if you're not into like, I feel like you, if you don't like Linus Tech Tips, there's still a lot of other stuff to do. But if you're not into like creators or PC hardware or that kind of stuff, probably not going to have a good time. But yeah, it's that's that's their event. And I uh, I had emailed them saying like, hey, can I uh, can I be a creator? Can I come? And they ghosted me. They ghosted me. They said you're a nobody. Nobody likes you. It hurt. It hurt a lot. How dare they? Just kidding. They did ghost me, but it, it's fair enough. They they kind of, uh, yeah. It's just how it is. It's cool. But I'm going. Super excited. It'll be fun. Uh, get to meet people. So if y'all have any questions for uh, Linus, <laughs> uh, I'll be sure to ask him. I will go up on stage. You know, I, I did say, I was telling Danny this a few months ago. I said, here's the number one way to get popular. Go to LTX, punch Linus in the face. You will be super popular. You will be in the news. You will be all over every single person's Twitter. You will be all over <laughs> tech, YouTube. You will be super, super popular. Probably go to jail. But hey, you might get like 50 subscribers or something. I don't know. And like... That's that's pretty cool. I probably won't do it, but I don't know. It seems like it could be a good idea. Uh, guys, if you are watching the video, please like it. Press the up vote up doot button. I don't know if it'll help, but uh, it makes me feel good on the inside. It's like a personal validation. But honestly, I'm just happy you guys are here. We're talking. We're hanging out. You know, there are people, and this kills me to watch because I have a, I think I have kind of a hate fetish for it. And let me explain. So Twitch, you know, biggest streaming platform. I think it's like 99% of everybody who's streaming on Twitch at any one time is streaming to an audience of zero to one. 95%. That means most people, basically everyone. You could you could round up to everyone. Basically everyone streaming on Twitch is streaming to nobody, no viewers. And and that hurts to hear because there's a lot of money to be made in like making YouTube content on how to stream or selling stuff like Elgato stuff, like really fancy mics, setups, lighting stuff. Like you've seen it. People have like the streaming setup. And then they'll stream to nobody. And it's not even because they're boring or or whatever. It's it's just impossible to find an audience. And I feel so bad for them. And I think it's because I have like a hate fetish for not showing up to birthday parties. Like, let me explain that. So I don't know if y'all have ever heard these stories of like people, they're like, yeah, when I was a kid you know, eight, nine, ten years old, had a birthday party. I invited everyone in my grade. Everyone. I was so excited. All my friends said they were going to come and a bunch of people. I was, my cousins were going to come, my uncles, my aunts, everyone. It was going to be a banger. It was going to be a huge birthday party. And then, you know, an hour go by and no one shows up. And then two hours. And then three hours. And my mom's on the phone, like, calling everyone. And, like, nobody showed up. And to me, that is like one of the saddest things that could ever happen to someone. Like apart from like actual tragedy, like a death in the family. Because it's so sad because people will write like it, it, it actually causes like 
internal strife for them for like the rest of their life. They're saying like, they have negative, they never celebrate their birthdays ever again. They never have a good time with that. Like they're just completely negative about it. And it, like they have a hard time connecting with people and like trusting people. And like that is an event that like can mess you up. So if you guys with kids, whenever it's time like for your kids, friends to have birthday parties or their classmates and they invite you, please take your children because I've seen a lot of these people, they'll, they'll say their story and then some of them say one person showed up, just one, and that saved it. They had a good time and it didn't scar them for life. All it took was one, one person to show up and that saved them from being scarred. So please, please take your children to other people's birthday parties because you, you could really save someone from some trauma. So that's, please do that. So I think that's why I get so sad <laughs> whenever I see the that 99% of Twitch streamers uh, stream to an audience of zero or one. And that let's be honest, that one is probably them in a browser, right? Or it could be a spouse or a friend or something. Um, so it just sucks. It makes me very sad. It's impossible to find traction on, uh, on Twitch. Ransacked, you guy. So you become one of my favorite creators, so I'll gladly support you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's super nice of you, really. I, it's still hard for me to get, uh, to wrap my head around the fact that I am a creator, um, because I've always created my whole life, but none of it ever hit, you know. And so it's it's hard, it's hard for me to accept kind words like that. But um, I'm trying, and I really appreciate it. It's super nice of you. It's hard out here, man. When I'm, I, I'll, I'm like, yeah, I spent fifty dollars on this video and buying stuff. That's that's gonna be hard. And then uh, Linus will make a video where they spent a hundred thousand dollars, and it's like, how could I ever compete with this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but it's not, it's not about how much money you spend on a production. It's, it's, it's just not because if that was true. Uh, there would be more people watching everyday TV than there would be like YouTube and Twitch streamers. But people would rather watch Asmongold than watch like Breaking Bad or whatever. So, got to get that out of my mind. It's a good party so far. Yeah, man. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I'm glad you guys are talking because I yeah <laughs> the game is kind of it's just me running around. So, uh. Maybe next time I can uh, do a mod on my Steam Deck or something instead of playing a game. Because right now I'm just kind of running around. I used to leave friends' streams open when I was away to give them the views. Yeah, man. Totally. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, of that, of that, like, 99%, those are all, like, your fr And I've done that, of course. I've, I've done that for friends, and I'm sure they've done that for me. Like, I have friends who say, like, oh, I watched your video through, but I don't know anything about PCs. I just did it to support you. Like, so like, I totally get that. And that's nice of you to do. So it's just, that just shows like even that 99% is like mostly just friends supporting them. And that's, that's so tough. That's me with the Rog Ally. I was creating content, but it sucked when I would make a video and get like 200 views. And I see someone like la <laughs> lazy TA prime getting a thousand plus lazy TA prime. Is that ETA prime? Uh, I like ETA Prime, but yeah, I would say he, he made like three videos, like within the span of two weeks that were basically the same thing. Like he made a video that was like, here are the top accessories for the Rog Ally. And then he made it again. And then he made it again. And I think it's because he makes a video like every, every day, doesn't he? Like, I don't watch all of them, but he, man, he makes a lot of videos. And I think... He has multiple people working for him at this point, so he must be just trying to crank out as many as he can. And like, <laughs> lazy TA Prime, I've n I've never heard anyone say that. Is that a thing? Do people think he's lazy? Yeah, I I know what you mean though. You create content, um, and you think it's gonna hit, and then it just doesn't. And I, let me tell you, ransacked, that's been me for like the past like 15 years like that is just me there's a lot of content that i've made over the years 
in college, even in high school, like, and in middle school. Like, so uh, I get that. And sometimes people hit it on their first video. Sometimes it takes like 15 years to get any kind of traction. So it's just, it's just tough. It's so, so hard. You should read his comment section. A dude called him out for it. And you know, it's all just a template and he changes words around to fit whatever device he's reviewing. It does feel like a template. Yeah. He will say like the same things and it's like, he doesn't go very deep into it. It's very, uh, just feels like a salesman at this point. Yeah. I totally, totally get what you're saying. He's always in the same spot in the games he plays. <laughs> okay. That I understand. I actually do that as well because, uh, the games I show to show off devices aren't the games I'm actually playing. I've already played them through. They are at that same spot, so I don't have to go through like the first two hours of like an intro because it's all cutscenes. You know what I mean? So that I understand. I'll give him a break on that. But that's funny. I'll, I'll read his comment section. Uh, the fat man says, "Love Linus, but man, I can't stand the we spent X amount of money. We can clickbaity content, dude. Yes, that is actually my biggest gripe with like uh, Mr. Beast. And Mr. Beast has created this meta on YouTube where." I think it's so like cringy, like it's just cringy to like open up a, a suitcase of money and say, I'm gonna give you money. Like, it's just, he can give money. I don't mind that. It's like giveaways and stuff is cool, but it's like the way they go about it where it's all about like money, 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 and like purchase, 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 buy, 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 money, 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 money is, will solve all of life's problems. It's just kind of, it's not for me. I know what you mean, yeah. Anytime I see that in the, yeah. That's why, like, I, I don't know if you all noticed, but in a lot of my content, I specifically go out of my way to, like, find uh, budget things or cheap things or things that, like, I just, it, it doesn't matter if it's expensive or not. And people call me out in the comment section a lot. They'll say, like, oh, you should, no, just buy the extreme micro SD card. It costs $50 more. Why wouldn't you go with the best one? And I'll reply back like, well, there's been a lot of testing and there's no difference. So if you're only using it for a Steam Deck, why would you spend $50 extra? Like, why, why do that? No, you stop, stop telling people to save money. Like, why? <laughs> what are you talking about? I just feel like um, I try my best not to get into needless consumerism because that is a lot of what tech is. Like, I don't know if you've noticed that technology youtube is about chasing new products and that's just, because that's just how it is I'm like this what can you do and why am i wearing that mask oh that's the mask i put on for that quest and that's kind of what it is yeah it's just it's just needless consumerism and chasing the newest product and stuff and i'm just like i don't i don't want to do that like i don't want to live my life that way but that's kind of what technology is so I don't, it's hard uh as long as he does it correctly, unless you want the IRS to come take all of it. I think Mr. Beast does pay the taxes of the, of the people he gives. I, th I think he does, if I recall correctly. I think I remember seeing a video where he, he pays their taxes, so that is good. The line is redoing his house videos and writing it off for content was cringe. Yeah. Uh, that is true. <laughs> I did see those videos. Uh, as a homeowner, they were interesting to me, so I would say that. But yeah, imagine you're in a position where you are able to create content and upgrade your home at the same time. <laughs> and, and like you said, it's like a write-off. So it's like just doing these massive upgrades to your home for, for profit because he's making money on it, right? And so that's like, in your mind, you're like, ooh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so I get where he's coming from. Um, but yeah, it did seem like that. It seems like he uses the, uh, the company as like a, you know, a personal content farm to like get new things. And that's, that's, I think that's okay. It happens. It's, I probably would do it. Uh, so I, I get it. It just, uh, Linus hasn't gone too far yet. I think, I think his stuff's reasonable and I actually like the house content sometimes. I'll put up a camp cooking video on Instagram and I get a thousand views and I'm like head blown. Why? Lol. I think a lot do it for ego. Yeah, dude. Big time big time and some do to help yeah big true big true 
I don't ask questions, just consume product, then excited for the next product. That is so true, man. If you've seen any of the commenters, it's like, oh, let's all hate NVIDIA today. Now let's all hate AMD today. Oh, I'm so excited for this new product. Consume, consume, consume. I'm like, guys, just play games. Like, that's that's why you're buying it, right? Just play the game. <laughs> like, it's fine. It's, 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 enjoy. Enjoy what you have. <laughs> enjoy it for as long as possible. Like, bro, they're using all this tech heat for the pool and stuff was wild. Yeah, that was that was stupid. <laughs> I think that's more like pushing the... What are we watching? Is this Star Wars? I'm so behind on the, <laughs> on the story. This is in space. This is Star Wars. I don't know what this is. This is crazy. I am. So, I skipped every cutscene to this point. Now this is crazy. It sounds like Reddit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People love to like gang, uh, not gang, bandwagon hate things, and uh, it gets tiresome. So I I try my best to to not do that. I hate how everything has become consumed product, consumed product, any real basis. I always look for the cheaper alternative, even if it's no name brand. Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. Like there was, so I was talking to, to Danny from Nerd on a Budget and I've asked him about like why he doesn't run an advertisement on every video. Cause in my mind, I'm like, hey, this is your business. If you run like a 15 minute ad, it just makes more sense. Like you're making money on every video. Like if you're going to put time into it and you can make a little money, why not do it? And he's a big enough of a channel where he has people hitting him up for that kind of stuff. How do I get out? Can I talk to you? And, and, and so he says, yeah, but I, you know, I don't want to run ads for a lot of these people. And it, one he specifically mentioned was the, the Ridge wallet right like i'm sure y'all have seen ads for the ridge wallet and because to him it's like 60 dollars or something 50 dollars, but it's only like not worth 50 or 60 dollars. it's really worth like 10 or 15 and he he thinks that it's just overpriced and i'm like well that's up to the consumer to decide right like they will decide if it's too much work but I suppose by putting an advertisement for it, that is his endorsement of it, saying I approve of this this price and I approve of all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ridge Wallet, Manscaped, the VPNs, all of that. Like that's he could easily have an ad in every video. And then I asked him, I'm like, okay, well, you're right, it is kind of expensive. Would if a Chinese company who makes ripoffs of things, you know, those companies, if they approached you and wanted to run an ad for a version of the Ridge Wallet that costs like fifteen or twenty dollars. Uh, would you do it then? And uh, I can't remember exactly what he said, but I think we landed on the, the bit that, like, if the company was on the up and up, yeah, he would. So, and and that would come as, like, a direct hit to his wallet, personally, because, obviously, that smaller ripoff company is not going to be able to pay as much as Ridge Wallet probably would. Um, so I think it's good to have honor like that. Like, he's literally just giving up money that he could have, Um for his own values and uh, ethics. So it's it's nice to see that in YouTubers. So give 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 Nerd on a Budget your support if you haven't already. But I don't know if I would approve uh, a ripoff company. <laughs> I, I'm, as, as like a, a no-name brand is one thing, but if there's like a, a unique product and then there's like literally a direct ripoff of it, and I don't know if I wanna support a ripoff company, but it just depends. I'm cool with no name brand though. I'm not out here buying Jordans. Or my new favorite, these food to home delivery services. Yeah. Like um, HelloFresh and stuff. Man, they are expensive. I will say the trial editions are a good deal. <laughs> Wait, did I miss a quest? How do I go up? Bulwark. Um, yeah, and the trial editions give you a really good discount. So I've tried all of them, like HelloFresh, Blue. They're all the same. They're basically the same. I've tried all of them because 
their first week trial is very enticing. And then after that, it's too expensive. So, but yeah, they are very vigilant with their advertisements. <laughs> but here's the thing. If they hit me up and they're like, can we run an ad? Yeah, I'm running an ad, right? If, if I think their product or their service isn't uh, predatory, or if it's not excessively expensive, like it's, it's expensive to me, but there are a lot of people who they have a lot of money, but not a lot of time. So having something like HelloFresh could mean a lot to them. Like there are a lot of stay at home moms who they have like three kids. They're not going to take all three kids to the grocery store to get groceries. That's like a nightmare to them. So if they can spend $15 extra to have it delivered to them, that's like a godsend to them. That is, I've spoken to them. They love it. It's like amazing to them. So I, I do think as long as something's not like really overpriced or not a ripoff or a scam, I, I would accept a sponsorship uh, from them. But that doesn't necessarily mean I believe everyone should buy it, right? Not necessarily. But if you can afford it, it could bring value to you. I think that's what it is. If you can afford something and it brings value to you and it's not too expensive, then I think things can be good. Walmart Plus, Albertsons, Kroger, they all have delivery services for $12 a month. Yeah, dude, a Target, tar oh, for delivery. Oh, they deliver. Oh. I've, I've never done grocery delivery outside of like Amazon Fresh because Amazon Fresh used to be included with Prime. Hmm. So I haven't done it in a while because they don't do that anymore. I usually do pickup. And if you do pickup from like Target or HEB or some other local ones I have, uh, it's free and there's no minimum. But that's cool. We use Walmart Plus because we CBF to take all the kids to the grocery store. Exactly, exactly, see? And I'm sure that $12 a month is incredibly worth it to you. And let's be honest, would you pay $50 a month for it? You probably would. Well, how much time and energy you are saving $50 a month out of your paycheck? Absolutely. So the fact that it's only 12 or 15 a month is like a godsend for a lot of people. And I'm not saying $50 is cheap, but for the people who can't afford that, that is everything to them. They're like, they're loving it. So it's all about value. It's all about how much money you have and how much you're willing to spend. Yeah. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm in another city. Dude, I skipped over I skipped over all the quests and now I have no idea what I'm doing. It's okay. A lot of level one quests. I'm level twenty one. Can I put my clothes on? Why am I naked? This robe is ugly. I honestly yeah, Ransack says I would honestly pay fifty dollars a month because of how much time it saves me. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's all about value. And that's why like whenever people were talking crap about the 4060, uh, whenever it came out, um, I, I, I'm sure y'all have heard this before, but there's no bad graphics cards. If the graphics cards plug into your system and they work, it's a good graphics card. It just depends the price. Like that's what makes a card good or bad, depending on how much it costs based on its competitors. If the product works, and it gives you benefits, it, it works, <laughs> right? So I think the 4060 was okay. I think it was just a little bit too expensive. That's it. If it was a little bit cheaper, it would be great. Walmart is great. They sell guns and everything. Curb? I'm going to the full screen. Curb? You get the stretched out version. <laughs> they don't sell guns at Walmart anymore. Stop spreading anti-USA propaganda. <laughs> they used to. <laughs> they don't sell them anymore. I think. I, th I think. In the USA, at least. I is Walmart in Australia? Probably. They're huge. Maybe they sell guns there. They do at yours? I thought they outlawed it, dude. I thought for sure they, they Walmart stopped selling guns at Walmart. Some still do. Oh my gosh. All the Walmarts near me stopped. Mine does. Wow. I'm learning a lot today from y'all. 
this whole time I thought that they, because there was um, that shooting that happened recently, and then somebody posted a picture of like a local Walmart selling guns, and so I thought that they stopped. Interesting. In Wyoming, if I want a sniper rifle, I can go buy one here. Yeah, that's crazy. Interesting. In the Midwest. Oh, so you, so Fat Man, you're gonna go on down to Menards, right? <laughs> you're gonna just head on down to Menards. <laughs> yeah, I went on down to Menards, bought a bought a rifle and a twelve pack of uh, Diet Dr Pepper and. Uh, Menards is the only thing I know of the Midwest, sorry. <laughs> it's like the only thing I know. <laughs> and I don't actually really know what it is. I just know it's a big store. No guns down here unless you're a landowner. Yeah, dude, Ransack, that's how I know about Menards. That's exactly how I know about it. No guns down here unless you're a landowner. Interesting. So you can only get a gun if you own land. It's what, to defend your land? I don't know. Guns are such a tricky issue. People are uh, very defensive about guns, pro or anti. Where is the quest? Okay, they said it's here. I don't see a main quest, unless this is it. No. It's soothing. Okay, can I turn off? I just want to look at the the main story quest. Okay, so I, I, I can do that here. Click here. I go to, what? Where's my... The Grudenia Envoy. This is where. Okay, map. Ah. It's in the airship landing. Okay. Now we know. Nunards is like Home Depot with a grocery store. That's how my neighbor who lived next to me described it. It's like Home Depot, which is a hardware store with a grocery store in it. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I mean, Walmart has a bunch of stuff and groceries, so I guess that makes sense. Against, okay, landowner, and so you use it to protect against fair animals. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, got it. Interesting. Interesting. Look at that. We're, we're learning. We're learning about the world in this stream, guys. We're learning. Uh, I'm originally from New Jersey, so I never heard of them being Menards till I moved here. Menards is basically Home Depot, Walmart, and Bass Pro Shop had a baby. Wow. That's crazy. And, it, and it's so interesting because I'm assuming Menards are gigantic, just like Walmart. And if you go to a lot of other countries, the idea of having a store as big as like a Walmart or even as big as like a Target is like unheard of. Even in the middle of the country where it's like a rural area, they would never build a store that big. And and yet here, if you're in the middle of nowhere, you could have a Walmart that is the size of like three football stadiums and it's still profitable. It's so interesting, huh? Dude, this map is so confusing. I feel so dumb. I hate not knowing maps because uh, okay, I need to go to the airship landing. That I do know. Okay, that's where I'm going. You guys are distracting me, talking to me about guns and Menards, okay? I feel like we're always talking about Menards in this in this stream. Oh, God, the East Coasters are canoodling in the chat. Guys, this is, this is a Texan stream. This is a Texan stream. Did y'all watch the um, the most recent Land Party stories from Nerd on a Budget? The one that was three and a half hours long? <laughs> oh, was I just supposed to come here and go back? Oh, was I supposed to? Oh, I think I was supposed to attune so I could teleport here later. Oh, no. I bought the... I bought it and I didn't do that. Oh, okay. Okay. 
I understand now. So it wanted me to come here so I can get the portal and then go right back. Got it. Okay, well, that's that's fine. Uh, I was going to move to Texas, but my mom recently moved from Texas back to New York, so we might be going back east. Okay. Uh, dude, I like Texas. I, I, I really, truly do. Um, but it has been like 100 degrees Fahrenheit every single day for the past 45 to 60 days. And it's it's just a nightmare to go outside, honestly. Like, And it's humid, and it's it's just... Even in the AC sitting in your car, you are sweating. Um, and so 100 F is 40 Celsius, or maybe 38, 39, 38, 39 Celsius. So it's every single day. It's just, this, I don't know. And then I was looking up the, the weather in Vancouver, and it wasn't that bad. It was like 70 F, 65. I'm like, that is awesome. Like, I, I would love that. But then I know it has its downsides where in the winter you have a lot of snow and that's like a whole nother ball game. We don't have any snow. I don't have to deal with that. I can wear shorts in the winter. So it, you have your ups and downs, I guess, of where you live. But for me, I just, I don't know, a hundred, a hundred degrees every day is I think my, um, my limits. Uh, 94 in Wyoming. I thought Wyoming's supposed to be cold. Oh my gosh. I miss East Coast pizza. Oh yeah. We went to New York City last summer, I think. Yeah, last summer. Uh, was it last summer? Could have been two summers ago. I can't remember. But it was, uh, yeah, the pizza was great and cheap. Definitely love the pizza there. Facts. It's hard to get a single decent piece of pizza out here. I'm just trying to get a slice. Hey, I'm walking here. I know that's what you sound like. Okay. Don't pretend. We don't sound like that. I know every New Yorker sounds like this. I have it on good authority. I got a slice of pizza. Hey, I'm Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm from Brooklyn. Spot on. Perfect impression. No notes. Okay, so I, th I guess I'm traveling to the different cities. Dude, somebody's going to watch the VOD of this and see me <laughs> getting everything wrong about this game. They're going to be so mad. I'm kind of just going wherever I want. <laughs> they cut pizza into squares out here like a round pizza. WTF. <laughs> Uh, funnily enough, I was born and raised in New York, but I don't have a New York accent. Lol, everyone doesn't believe me when I say I'm from New York. It was the same thing with me. Uh, I was born and raised in Texas, but my parents aren't originally from Texas. And I think that's what really makes it. I think if you have to, if you have several generations back in that state, I think that's how you develop the accent. Because growing up, I would play games online and I'd have my mic on and everyone will assume... Well, if you're from Texas, you're going to sound like this. Everyone I know from Texas sounds like this. I'm like, well, I don't. And they go, well, then you're not from Texas. I'm like, well, okay. Uh, so, yeah, you avoided the, the New York accent. Well done. I need an interpreter in Maine. <laughs> True. I, I've heard some. Oh, man. You know, I know you're Australian. But I've I've heard and we're we're both speaking English. But I've heard some Australians where I I I get maybe three words out of a sentence and the rest are just kind of I don't know. And I remember watching um The Office as a kid. Uh the the the, the English office, so the UK one, I could not understand half of what they were saying. Was horrible it was i was like now as an adult i watched it again i'm like yeah okay i can maybe i was a little too young but now you know i you have better understanding skills and you hear more people speak english and it gets better but back then i'm like dude are they even speaking english my goodness my goodness shrimp on the barbie mate vegemite <laughs> 
Dude, Australians love when you say shrimp on the party. If you go, if y'all ever go to Australia, Curb can, uh, Curb and Oz can uh, explain this. If you ever go to Australia, walk up to every Australian you meet and do like Crocodile Dundee impression. You say, oh, that's not a knife. Oh, they love it. They'll start clapping and go, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, we love that. Like, oh, you're going to be so popular. They love it. Oh, spread Vegemite on my ass. Like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, they're so happy and so excited. They get so hype. Other than when I say coffee, no one seems to be coming from New Jersey out here. You say coffee? Hey, can I get a coffee? Can I get a water? That's funny. I, I think I... <laughs> yes, he curses. Yes! <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> they love it. I think I don't have a Texas accent for sure, but I definitely have uh texas mannerisms so like how we talk and how we gesture and stuff so like obviously i'll say y'all which is a uh, a combination of you all and you know people in the north they might say you guys or, or other things so i do have that stuff and that stuff you just grew up with it so uh, but i feel like as i get older i feel like more and more people are saying y'all even people not in the south so it might be spreading i don't know you want some coffee can I get a water? Ugh. What, you know, one thing I did notice, the difference between New York City and Texas is that, so here's how it works. In Texas, I'm not saying which one's right or wrong. I'm just saying this is how it works. If I go to a coffee shop, I would say, I want X coffee. They will follow up with a, a leading question. Like, if I say, oh, I want a large coffee. They say, okay. Do you want room for cream? I say yes. They say, do you want sugar? I'll say yes or whatever, right? In New York, you need to put all of that into your statement. And then you need to finish with, I'm done with my order. They will not ask you follow-up questions. And if they do, they'll treat you like an idiot. That's kind of where I understood when I was in New York, where if, if I don't give out the entire order in its entirety, they will just stare at me waiting for me to finish my order. And they'll I'll like, let's say like, if I said, oh, can I get a, a coffee? Go, uh, okay. I'm like, yeah, just a, a coffee, medium. They go, uh, okay. How? I'm like, cream? Okay. And they don't say things like, what else? Or... Or it's just they're very like upfront with it. They're very upfront for it. Played so played with so many people from the south growing up. I say y'all. Yeah, I think I think that is how it works now. I think I think it's spreading. It's also a big part of like um, southern vernacular in like uh, you know a lot of music. Uh, a lot of rap songs use y'all because a lot of rappers are from the south. Like a lot of things like that. So I think it's spreading. Grandmother in Maine is from Florida. I say y'all call our Utes trucks. Oh man, I bet people love you, Curb. Cause your grandmother man is from Florida. Okay, that's fair. Facts. That is how it is in New York. I remember I used to Uber Eats at night when I lost my job before we had our first kid. And I would get Dunkin'. I would literally say I want a coffee, and the dude wouldn't even ask me if I want food or a donut or anything. Yeah, that is like an easy way to upsell. Like you could like a follow up question like you want this you want this it's like no like tell me what you want I put it in hurry up and so it's yeah I'm not saying it's wrong I I did appreciate it at some point I think I I can understand because there are times in Texas where I'm like dude hurry up like people are behind you like y'all don't you don't need to go through this whole thing you don't need to go through your purse looking for money show up money in hand knowing what you want to order speak it direct like so I I get it. But it, it just threw me a little off guard. Where's the big stone? Oh. But yeah, it's it's like a it's just different. I wouldn't say it's better or worse. It's just it's simply different, yeah. Hey, can I get a coffee at the Dunkin'? Yeah, where's your card? Can I get some 
Yeah, hey, put some Vegemite. Put some Vegemite. <laughs> I like doing uh, bad impressions of cultures I don't understand in hopes that someone gets offended. <laughs> I don't know why. Hey, we have a few more viewers in here. What's up, everyone watching? If you're not uh, in the chat, appreciate it. Uh, my name is Jason. I'm a technology YouTuber, content creator on here. I do mostly handheld PC gaming, so feel free to ask any questions in the chat about gaming PCs or Steam Decks or ROG Ally or anything like that, we can hook you up, help you out. If you need any recommendations, you know, people in the chat will help you out as well. Uh, if you own a Steam Deck, I'm doing a giveaway for a free backplate, which is one from JSOX. Uh, go down in the description, there's a giveaway link. So you, it's a free sign up, we'll ship worldwide, you know, no strings attached. So uh, I'll do the drawing in two days. And so, and I'll reach out to you if you win. So I'll, I'll ship that to you. And I'm gonna be doing a few more over the next coming weeks. So get subscribed on here and on Twitter and all that stuff so you can just like get notified of it. And to be honest, I don't have a lot of followers, so you have a really good chance of winning. So just, just do it. It's free. Jersey, New York, where salt, pepper, ketchup is one word at delis and bodegas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I saw that too. Salt, pepper, ketchup. Salt, pepper, ketchup. P yeah, people were... It's very different. It's interesting. I would say people in New York uh, aren't as rude as people make them out to be. I never, I never really got rude. I would say I got more like direct. And even then, I wouldn't say they were rude. They simply were direct, and and that was fine. But I, when I hear people say, "Oh, everyone in New York is so rude," I'm like, "Eh, they weren't that bad." You know where they were rude, dude? New Orleans. Most of the people I interacted with in New Orleans were quite rude, even by Texas standards. So uh, if I'm saying, you know, New York people were nice and uh, New Orleans people were not nice, that's, ooh, that's huge. But it could have been just luck of the draw. I'm sure there's a lot of very nice people in New Orleans. I just didn't meet them. I only met the rude ones, so it sucked. But the World War II Museum is awesome in New Orleans. Would would totally recommend brian salcedo says this doesn't look like wrath have you played final fantasy before i like it too uh yeah this is not wrath um so brian i played final fantasy 14 when it first came out in 2010 i have the dvd still and and then i dropped it because the game was unplayable and then a realm reborn came out and they gave me free access to beta so i played beta for a realm reborn and then I haven't really played it since then. That's it. And so now uh, I'm just messing around with it. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. I'm just following quests. <laughs> um, and uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's fun so far. I'm at a bad part of the quest line where I'm just running around and, and like going to the other cities. I'm so over it. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. The proprietor of the Drowning Witch. Uh, no, I want to do the main quest line. What? Okay, at least I can travel here. Yeah, so I'm very new to this. Very new. I know how to teleport, though, and it's eating up all my gold. But we're just hanging out. Nothing fancy. Uh, I need to get used to how these work because look, I thought this was where I was supposed to go, where that check mark is. But if I zoom in, it's that's wrong. It's actually over here. Dun, 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 dun. CNJ White Mage Fun in Dungeons. Yeah, I didn't realize this was the healing class when I picked it. <laughs> that was not really my goal. I'm okay with it. Uh, but I didn't know. And then I, as I was doing the trials, like, I don't know what it's called in the game, the trial quests, it was all about healing. And I'm like, 
I'm like, why do I have so many healing spells? And it took until like level 15 for me to realize that, that I'm a healer. <laughs> I might switch to uh, Sage later on, because uh, Sage seemed fun. It's like a combination of DPS and healing. Uh, if I make it that far, I don't know. Yeah, I want money. Mm, sure. Yeah, I'm just taking a break from Wrath for now until ICC comes out. I'm max level. There's not really much for me to do, and I don't want to have two subscriptions right now. Uh, okay. Lower decks. I will travel. And it's hard to get into a game this late uh, because everyone already knows what they're doing, and I don't. So it, it's pretty tough. Sage is like a disc priest, higher ceiling. White mage is great to learn on. I'm, I'm like a, I'm like a pro gamer, so I kind of like the idea that it has a high ceiling. I like I like uh, classes and games that like allow you to be good. <laughs> they like give you the chance to be as good as possible. And not you're not maxed out by like cooldowns. You're that's why I really liked about Final Fantasy 16, the new single player one, because that felt like you're you are as good as you could be. What? Oh, this is the other side of the world. Six hundred gil. Oh my gosh. Okay. How long have I been streaming? I said I was going to do this for an hour. Oh, it's been an hour 15. Okay. We'll go for about another 20 minutes. So if you have any questions, now would be the time. That is death, not white mage. It is easy whack-a-mole, holy priest. Okay, yeah. I don't like that. Uh, yeah. So maybe sage. Maybe I'll go sage. But I also think it might be weird for my first character to be a healer. I feel like it should be uh, a DPS. But I don't know. I am having a hard time killing stuff, considering I only have two damaging spells still. Still, I'm level 21, and I only have two ways to do damage. Uh, I don't die. Like, I'm not dying. It's just, it feels slow. It feels very slow. And I don't think my gear is bad. Man, that's ugly. I keep moving stuff. Mr. Brian, we were doing our uh, Australian accents, New Jersey, uh, Menards. <laughs> Basically, I was trying to offend as many people as possible all at once. You know how it is. See, I killed that thing, but he's low. This is a very low level area. Eh, my level's too high. Oh, I have to level sync to do this. Oh, well. I'll just walk past it. I think I'm a little over-leveled. I've been doing too many quests. This is how hot it is in Texas. I have the AC on in my upstairs room. It is still 87 degrees in here Fahrenheit because the AC does not come into this room very good and it just gets worse and worse until it gets better so if I'm sweating that's why oh did y'all see my hat have y'all seen this hat did y'all see it can y'all see that you see what that says it's a Steam Deck Burger King hat it's the logo from Burger King made into a Steam Deck hat. I did not design it. A a chap on 
TikTok, who is a designer, posted it. And he has like 200 followers, very small. And I saw that he made this hat for himself. And I was like, dude, give me that hat. <laughs> I want that hat. And sure enough, he sent me one. I mean, I paid him, but yeah, just some random guy. So you never know. I super love it. Speaking of worse and worse until it gets better, any other class you play will feel faster. C and J is slowest by far. Oh, man. It, it, it feels slow. I mean, it is. I have two damage spells, and one of them sucks. It's so slow. But I think I can get a new class at 30, right? Like, I can switch to Sage. I think I can switch to Sage at 30 as long as I'm done on the main quest line and I'm level 30. Is that right? What about Jers? What is Jers? Jersey? We doing Jersey accents? That's Southern. <laughs> They were talking about uh, Jersey. Do, do New Jersey people call it Jers? I don't know. That sounds fun. What about Jers? Okay, I can return. Yes. Yeah, it, Conjurer just, it's very slow. It's kind of boring. I don't remember each class has different level requirements. I remember some were 50. Not sure if they were lowered. Okay. I don't know if I can play Conjurer to 50. It's not that fun. <laughs> because, yeah, I doing quests, I basically have two abilities, and I only use one of them. So hopefully not. I'm going to check online. very boring Th this would make me like not finish the game because the class is so boring i'm not sure how people do it oh i need to go to the conjurer's guild sage requires 70 oh my gosh oh my gosh oh uh, that's practically max dude what Okay, well, that's not happening. Does Conjurer get better? Because <laughs> it's so slow. Maybe I'll do some duties. Maybe I'll heal a duty. I haven't done a real dungeon yet. Maybe that would be more interesting. It was the last class released. Oh, it was. So Sage is super new. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, it's hard to to jump in. I can't imagine getting to 70 on Conjurer and then going back to level 1. I don't know if I have that in me. I barely have enough to just sit here and play. So, I don't I don't know if I have that power. Okay, little children. Okay, whatever. Uh, ooh, a mask? Gloves? Bro. Uh, that one. Ooh. Okay. I'm doing good. I feel like I've been level 21 for so long because I've been traveling. Uh. Okay. I need a drink break. My throat is... <laughs> Crazy. I'd recommend either starting a DPS or doing some dungeons. Not much nice to say about CNJ solo. Yeah. I feel like I've already gotten to level 21, though. And I don't want to, like, go back. I don't think I have that in me. Let me see. How do I do dungeons? Here we go. All right, maybe I'll do one of these. A guild hest. Uh, and I can heal. Here we go. Let's see. That's not going to happen. Uh, that might happen. That might happen. Gradually restores my own MP. I have so many spells about healing I haven't used. You know, for how popular this game is, I thought 
duty finding would be so much easier. It should be instant. Oh, this is level 10. Why? Why is it level 10? Why? Dude, I know someone's gonna watch this and they play the game and they're gonna think, oh man, this guy's bad. <laughs> and they'd be right. I don't have any buffs, guys. Oh, let me pull that up. <gasps> All right. All right, this is the healing, guys. We're gonna heal. Oh, no, no, we're not. It's easy. So for some duties, you don't even have to heal. I just spam attack on this guy and he will die because the game is easy. And for children. Hey, oh, is this Black Desert Online? I hear this game is popping off again recently. No! Danny? It's not Black Desert. I would never, never, I would never play that. How dare you? Or my Brett? This is another weeb game. More level 10 than 21. Also think you need to unlock guild tests one at a time. Oh, really? Isn't Black Desert a weeb game? <laughs> Dude, I would never. I, I, Danny, I guarantee you're the type of person to play like Albion online. Tell me you didn't play Albion. And I'm still, I still don't believe that you didn't play MapleStory. Or Gunbound. Tell me you didn't play Maple Story. I don't believe you. I need to unlock Guild Test one by one. I don't have any really. I want to do an actual dungeon. Why are there no dungeons? Those are guild. How do I do a dungeon? I want to do a real dungeon. These are like little side quests. I haven't done a real actual dungeon. I thought that this is where this would be. I feel like I'm high enough level to do a dungeon. Brian, help me, help me. Uh, never played Maple Story, you're a liar. You are a liar, was already on WoW by that point, no. Both of those games came up before WoW. What were you doing before then? Just being a child? Here, watch this. You're going to love this. Boom. Stre <laughs> Call this the stretch cam. Because it's taking my poorly cropped image and stretching it out. You see that? I have scenes now. I have scenes. I'm a streamer. Story quest takes you to a level 15 and 20 dungeon. No, I haven't. Okay, I guess I, I guess I just haven't gotten there. I guess I just need to keep doing the quests. Good to know. Just guns from that era. I, um, I used to go to a land center at that time, Danny, that was ran by a bunch of uh, Vietnamese men. And it was half a uh, land center and then half a boba shop. And this is in 1999 or 2000. More like 2000. And at that point, Counter-Strike was out uh, and Guns was out and Gunbound. And that's all people played there. Literally, the entire land center, people were playing Guns, they're playing Counter-Strike, they're playing Maple Story, And it, there is actually, I saw three, three guys playing Final Fantasy XI for the first time. And they were in the dunes. And that's like where I first got my visual sight of what it was uh, at that land center. And they, they played a lot. Is it stretched in OBS? I, I think so. I know. I, I think I'm using the same image that is stretched in this one. And so I have it cropped in this view, and I'm using that same one for the, the other one. That's why it's doing it. And I didn't fix it, so I'll fix it later. But yeah. You may be outpacing main story quests. Ignore side quests and focus on main. Okay. Yeah, I think that is what's happening because I I did a lot of that. Dude, none of these are main story quests. What happened? Did I not pick it up? Where's the main story quest? Wait, am I missing something?
Oh, I can click this. Okay. This is this is the one. Oh, I have to go back here. Oh, this is only a level 15 quest. Okay, I'm yeah, I'm really outpacing my the main story. That makes sense. That makes sense. Good to know. And I will go right to the main store here. Not in here. It's in the adjoining area. Wait, no, it's not. It isn't here. It's in, what is this? Upper decks? Wait. Try the crow's lift. Okay. Rude, but all right. Uh, yeah, I think he's here. Played Fantasy Star online until WoW came out. Dude, me too. So I, I played, first I would say I played uh, Diablo 2 on PC. Then after Diablo 2, I played uh, Fantasy Star Online on Dreamcast. And I played that for a while. And I went from I went from Final Fantasy Star Online to Final Fantasy XI, and then went from Final Fantasy XI to to World of Warcraft. And so there was like a good six year gap there where I was playing different uh, MMOs or or other stuff like that online. But I, I really do like Fantasy Star Online. I thought I was super cool uh, playing a Dreamcast online with people from Japan. And typing little uh, little things to them. Uh, oh, it's hidden. This main story quest is hidden. That's why I didn't get it. There's too many level one quests here. Here we go. I feel like I'm very close to this story. Let's see. Okay. Danny, we were talking about you earlier. Someone said some really nasty things about you. It's no big deal. I, I defended you, so it's like... Thank me later. It's it's all good. But yeah, you know, this it's fine. It's whatever. I defended you. Defended your honor. It's like it's like whatever. It's no big deal. It's fine. Uh oh, that's very far. There's a lot of running around in this game, and there's not as much uh, quest batching like in WoW. Because WoW, you can just grab the whole city and go do them and come back in here. Danny says, I'm a nasty person, so it seems fitting. Bro, have some self-respect. Damn. Defended you. I just watched that guy's Texas Land Party video. <laughs> nice. Did you watch the whole thing? It's like three and a half hours, dude. That's funny. Yeah, it's a banger video, dude. Banger. Apparently there was like, Jason's Reach knows no bounds. Apparently the original footage was like 24 hours of footage or something, like something crazy. And imagine trying to bring that down to uh, uh, three and a half hours. It's, it's just crazy. And the background at work, that's fine. Yeah, it's not really worth watching. It's three and a half hours. It's more than a Lord of the Rings movie of just people hanging out. And there's a lot of it that is like, I feel like it's not interesting unless you were there. Like, um, why would anybody want to watch us like do trivia? <laughs> like, is that interesting for people who aren't us? I don't know. Uh, I don't think I can go this way. Dang it. But there are a lot of nice comments uh, that Danny gets on those that are like, hey, I don't, you know, I don't have a lot of friends or I don't have any friends. So it's nice to see people uh, hanging out and 
I live vicariously through y'all and stuff. So that's uh, that's always nice to see. Bro, I still have that that thing, the Overwatch thing. So he didn't explain it in the video. He just said I have it. Uh, when I was I was buying a computer from a guy and like a monitor and like he was selling me a bunch of stuff, that was in the computer. Like he was unironically using it and it was plugged in and it lights up and it goes inside your computer case. And now I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to give it to someone. I don't want to sell it. I don't want to throw it away. So I'm just hoping some pervert comes to my home and asks me for it <laughs> because I don't know what to do with it. It just sits in my garage. I really, I don't know what to do. Am I trying to go somewhere? I want to go to Western Lanasia. Can you help me? No. Oh, I don't think I want to go to either of those. Speak with the season event to the Hall of the Novice. I guess I just go outside. But I can't go this way. This is a boat. This goes nowhere. Western Thanalan. Oh, I can go up there. Okay, cool. Was it? What is it? I thought it was a, a, a wrist rest. <laughs> Bring it to LTX. Dude, I'm going to get kicked out of LTX. Uh, no, it's it's not a wrist rest. It is an acrylic uh, thing with art in it, and it, it's connected to a, a Molex connector. And so you put it into your computer, and you plug it in to your computer's power Molex, and it lights up. And so you can see, like, when you look into your computer, you can see a little acrylic image lit up inside. And so that dude just had it in his computer as, like, art, right? He's, like, trying to pimp out his computer, and he used it. And so he unironically bought it. It's on Amazon. It's like 30 bucks on Amazon. So I know where he bought it, but he was like a middle-aged man. <laughs> so it was it was a strange one. Okay, I'll bring it to LTX, but I don't know what to do with it, dude. Do you want it, Danny? I'll give it to you. If you if you Oh, dude, we can put it in the the NZXT build. Oh, dude. All right. There it is. It's given it's getting it's getting out. Yo, are you using the Ethernet FM14? It lets you fast travel around the big city, the tiny blue shards. I I am uh, a little bit. I am using the Ethernet. So this is not my home city, and I haven't gotten all of them. Uh, but in my home city, I do have all of them. That's why I teleported there. I will come back later. It's just not interesting on stream for me to go around and click all of them. But yeah, I am using them. Thanks for the tip. Because, yeah, they're, they're free. Oh, man. What am I doing here? This is a side quest. How do I get here? Okay, I need to get to Western Lanasia. Oh, it's all the way up there? Fine. Oh, I can get this uh, portal. Okay. I can go to the farm. Hey, Kush. What's up, man? He said, hey, Jason, big fan of yours, mate. Dude, thank you. You're awesome. Been thinking of getting a Steam Deck. Is it worth it for just gaming? I'm not really a Linux guy, and I'm wanting something more affordable. That's a great question, man. And I think I, I think it's actually best for gaming. I think if you are trying to use it as like a desktop computer where like maybe you're like, content creation or streaming or you know all the stuff you would do with a desktop computer uh it's not going to excel at any of those things so if you are just trying to use it for gaming i would say it's actually like the best way to use it um that's like the best way because it like you said if you're not a linux guy going through all that back stuff is kind of a nightmare but if you're just playing games on it and you only use steam os uh you're perfect. You don't have to know anything about Linux ever. If you only use SteamOS and you only play games on it, you don't have to do anything. You're totally in the clear. It'll play most games ever and then and you're golden. And so I think for $400, it comes with a screen, a keyboard, a mouse, 
a battery, it's portable, a controller, like it has all that built in for $400 brand new with a warranty. It can't be beat. Like it just can't, you know what I mean? Really all I'm wanting from the deck is the capability for just handheld gaming while also having some communication I can switch to on the fly, like Discord. Okay, then yeah, you're good. Uh, Discord is supported on there and there is a way to have it running in the background uh, as you play your games. I would say that would be the most complicated thing to do is getting that up and running. Um, but it's not hard. It really isn't. There are guides online. You can do it super easy. I think it's perfect for you. And what's cool is that the Steam Deck actually has a really good microphone built in. Like, apparently, there's some tests online you can check out. People said the microphone is, like, crazy good. So if, even if you don't have a headset, you can just use the onboard mic, and people said it's pretty good. So uh, I think that'd be perfect. $400, it can't be beat. I'd say grab the $400 one. And then first get it, play with it, see how much space you need for games, and then buy a micro SD card. Don't worry about SSD. Don't worry about any of that. Don't worry about any of the accessories, all that stuff. Buy it, play games on it. It's going to have very little space. Then you can buy a micro SD card when you realize how many games you want to put on it. So you can buy a 512 gig or you can buy a terabyte, you know. And then you're good. You don't have to, don't, you don't have to worry about SSD. You don't have to worry. I can get a 64 gig deck from a friend for about 320 pounds. Uh, is that a good price in, in where you're from? I don't know. And I have a spare 512 gig. Oh, 2230 I got from a broken laptop, which I tested and it works. Okay. So if you already have it, yeah, do it. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Okay. Yeah. You're in the clear. Sounds good. I, I would say, uh, I don't know how many pounds a Steam Deck is brand new. Uh, because remember, if you're buying it from your friend, you're not getting the warranty. Um, but if you know if it looks like it's in good condition and uh, and you trust your friend, and that's a significant discount for how much it is uh, in the UK, then I'd say yeah, go for it. And then yeah, you can install the SSD since you have it on hand. Um, probably do it's like the first thing you should do then because you can't really install anything else. Yeah, that's awesome. Do that. That's a good idea. Love uh, love reworking old things, like having the old SSD and getting used from a friend that is a, uh, a sustainable, healthy, smart way to live. So good on you. Love to see it. I'd say go for it. It's, uh, it's 349 over here new, but my friend's got a screen protector plus a 64 gig micro SD. <laughs> Do they even sell micro SDs that small anymore? Crazy. Uh, so a screen protector is like what? Four quid? Like nothing. And a 64 gig micro SD, that's nothing. That's like, that's, that's nothing. That's really nothing. So I would say 320 to 350. So you're saving 30 pounds. Honestly, dude. I might buy it new. Uh, unless it's like in near perfect condition and you trust your friend, maybe, I, I would say. Or if he can give it to you for a little bit cheaper. Because those the screen protector and the micro SD card, that's that's not worth a lot. That's not worth anything. But if uh, if it's in really good condition and you trust your friend and all that, I think it's okay. I'm all about saving money where it counts. Uh, mainly because the cost of living over here is absolutely well. That's true. Um, so yeah, okay, I think it's fine. I think it's good. If you trust your friend, I say go for it, for sure. It's a good deal. Hey, 30 pounds is 30 pounds. Can you jump into that water there? Are you trying to kill me, dude? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you can. I think this is an, an unswimmable area. There are some waters I think you can. I cannot jump in. I can jump here. Can I jump into this water? Oh man, Danny, you're gonna hate this game. <laughs> you can't even jump in the water. I think there are places where you can jump in water. But not here. Yeah, that is one thing I really enjoyed about WoW is that you can jump on the roof, in the water, there were different levels. It's like really fun for PvP to have that kind of verticality. 
times have changed, man. I remember buying a 512 megabyte SD card for the PSP for $112 from Best Buy. True. It's crazy how cheap it's gotten. Uh, Kush says, I trust him. He hasn't used the deck a lot, only about three months of use, and it's just been sitting on his desk for a while, especially since he invested into an RG ally. Yeah, dude, go for it, Kush. That's like a, I think it's a good deal. I think you're being responsible. Uh, it's a smart, smart deal. Bro, invisible wall. Dude, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, I knew you are going to hate this. Like, Considering this game came out after WoW, I feel like they should have known people were going to want to swim. I don't know. Like, They built the world around not swimming, though. But that's a small thing. It's not like there's PvP, so I, I could care less, to be honest. Your main quest is in top left. I think Hall of an Office is in a main city. What? Oh, yeah, I know. I'm headed that way. Yeah, it's right there. It's probably pirates. That's where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. I just have to hit all these... Uh... I haven't been out here. This is in a new city. So I have to hit all these Aetherites first. Uh, Kush says, besides, I think I'll still be able to sort out the warranty if I just talk to my friend and get him to talk to see him support about everything. That's true. Yeah, you'll still technically have a warranty if he's only used it for like uh, three months. Yeah. Like, if the device breaks, I'll just let him know so he can do the support. Yeah, smart. That's smart. Smart, sustainable, economical. Totally. Totally on board. You're going to love it. Seriously. Super fun. Man calls BDO a weave game, but it's walking around with bunny ears. Okay, look. This is the stretch cam. It's not bunny ears. I'm not sexually attracted to my character. It's a game, okay? I didn't choose the ears. The ears chose me. I'm not doing anything with, with the ears. I'm an adventurer. John, this is Final Fantasy XIV, the, the MMO. And if you <laughs> if you notice my last name in this game, I hate that you have to pick a last name in this game. You pick a first and a last name. So my last name is actually the first and last name of the of the main character from Final Fantasy sixteen. <laughs> so his first name is Clive and his last name is Rossfield. So my whole last name is just Clive Rossfield. <laughs> Yo, Brian, chill. Didn't know you had been there. Probably Pirates of the Dungeon Quest. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Cool. I think that's where I'm headed. I've been itching for a good handheld PC ever since the OG GPD win. I have been on the fence about the deck for quite a bit now, but I think it's time for you to jump into the deck. Yeah, man. Now is just as good a time as ever. And that's a, that sounds like a good deal. The GPD win, all those GPD devices are super overpriced for what you get. I think the Steam Deck will have the uh, lasting power that you're looking for and will play all the games you want. So I'd say pull the trigger. It's super fun. But I will say my Steam Deck's not working right now, and I'm kind of upset about it. Uh, this isn't to deter you. I'm just bringing up another conversation. Uh, I don't know what happened. It just won't. It's turning on. I'm getting power, but um, there's no backlight, and there's no screen. So I just I hear the chime turn on. I hear the fan booming air it's getting hot things are happening but the screen itself's not uh showing me anything i've reworked the battery i've done all that did all the troubleshooting steps i've even like disconnected the 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 ribbon cable that goes to the motherboard i've you know reseated that i've cleaned connections and just nothing so i'm i have to rma it uh which sucks because i kind of need it for ltx so i'm going to send it off tomorrow and hopefully they can get it back to me soon <sighs> Techwes, what's up, man? Welcome. You said I'm planning on buying a a dock for my Steam Deck because my deck has uh, Windows on it, and my PC, which I'm currently using, has DDR3 RAM and an i7 fourth gen. Is it worth it to make my deck my gaming rig? Um, so it's hard to say if it's worth it. Um, a, I will say the Steam Deck will 
probably outperform. I, you didn't mention a GPU, so I'm going to assume your desktop PC is using an, uh, an i7 fourth gen, probably like a 4770, and you don't have a, a GPU because you didn't mention it. I would say the Steam Deck would outperform that by a long shot, for sure. Um, so, but, you know, Steam Decks have their limitations when it comes. There's like less I.O. It's kind of a nightmare to do certain things. So if you're comfortable using Windows on your Steam Deck, um, I would say, yeah, nothing wrong with using it as your main desktop PC. I, I, I've done it for weeks at a time before, and it was totally fine. So uh, no problem there. I would do it. Why not? Oh, Danny. I... I've never had that happen with a desktop PC. Yikes! Ugh. You've never you've never had a desktop PC have error. I, I, <laughs> you sure? I, I I'm pretty sure you have. Uh, does the deck have native support for Steam Remote Play? Yes. If a game doesn't run well, I do like to remote it to my desktop with an RTX 57 XT at home and play a lot more nice and stuff. Yes, it has uh, built-in remote play. Uh, you can do it for sure. I do it all the time. You can remote play into PlayStation, GeForce Now, that kind of stuff, even Xbox Game Pass. So, yeah, all those are good. And the, the Steam Remote Play, you could remote into your desktop for sure. Uh, just make sure you have your ports unlocked, and there are guides online to do that if you're doing it away from home. So, yeah, totally good there. Uh, does it work on another monitor, or can you stream it? Uh, does wor Does what work on another monitor? Oh, does the um, does this my Steam Deck work on another monitor? You know, I tried that. I I, I plugged it into a dock to see if I could get at least get like a an out, uh, and it didn't work either. So I don't think it's something to do with the display because if it was, it would it would work display out, right? So it's it's just strange. Yeah, no display out through a dock or a deck. Yeah, I don't know. Even uh, the Steam support had no idea what was going on. John Sandoval, have you ever considered to have a build off against Nerd on the Budget? Well, that wouldn't be much of a build off. <laughs> have you seen the guy? <laughs> it's, it's like a joke. It's, it's like a guy who's like a nerd on a budget. Like a budget? Like, what? It's not much of a. Uh, it's nothing. No, it's it'd be easy. It'd be a win. It's so simple. A uh, guy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I said, I hope you the best in life. Do you think your content is too niche? Niche. It seems like a whole channel for one piece of hardware is too much. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think it is too niche. Uh, and there are other channels that have had success only doing Steam Deck stuff. And I, I personally don't want to do that. So I'm trying to transition my channel into uh, all PC gaming handhelds. Things like ROG Ally, uh, Amber Nix, even the retro handhelds. Uh, I would love to do more content on that, um, but also still do some PC gaming stuff. So uh, I think there is success with Steam Deck if you made a channel that's only Steam Deck because there are a lot of people who do it. Uh, but I think that has uh, a time limit. So I want to not limit myself like that. So good question. Thank you for asking. Uh, tech was you have a, a 750 ti okay then yeah i would say the steam deck will definitely outperform that like a hundred times over for sure K kush said what oh wait what did kush say i was hoping for halo infinite multiplayer to work on deck and finding out that it apparently works fine has really swayed my decision yeah a lot of games uh their anti-cheat works and then some of them don't like battle bit works halo works apex works call of duty doesn't so good on you for looking it up. That's good to know. Uh, but even if it didn't work, uh, you could always dual boot Windows, and then it would definitely work, like as a last resort. One of my current super secret NDA projects, unfortunately, won't work on deck at launch, which is unfortunate. Ah, uh, that stinks. Well, you have to be the change you want to see in the world, Kush. Tell them you want it. Uh, Oblivix said, what are the main games you play? Um, I play a lot of games. I would say I, uh, over the years, I've played a lot of MMOs, played a lot of World of Warcraft, mostly classic. Um, I love fighting games like Street Fighter. Uh, I love Street Fighter. I love shooters. Play, I've played a lot of Call of Duty in the past, played a lot of Battlefield. Um, 
I would say if, uh, I love Final Fantasy games, the single player ones. So I actually recently finished Final Fantasy 16 on the PS5, which was fantastic. Would recommend it to anyone. That was great. Um, so yeah, I play a lot of different things. I would say I don't really play sports games that often, um, or at all really. But I, uh, pretty much everything else I'll play. I'm not very good at RTS games. I'm actually really bad, so I don't play them as often. Um, but sometimes, yeah. EA's a stubborn company. I doubt they'll be receptive to deck support, especially this early into development. Yeah, that's true, man. EA can be very stubborn. So you have to convince them to make their own deck, like their own Steam deck. Wouldn't that be crazy if EA made their own handheld PC like Valve did? Man, I'm all for it. I, more competition's great. I want, I want everyone to make their own as long as they're all like compatible with each other. Oh man, I want that so bad. That would be so great. Is this the dungeon? Oh, duty support? Is a duty a dungeon? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Sastasha. Yeah, okay, okay. Finally, dude. Okay, yeah, I don't care. I know how to play the game. All right, we're going to do our first dungeon. Nope. Nope. Click here. Oh, wait, I can enter with a party of NPCs? So if you're on a dead server, you can play with NPCs to do dungeons? That's so interesting. I had no idea. But if I enter with a party of NPCs, I'm just going to be healing them. And it's going to take forever. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, Coach said a cloud streaming one was prototyped, nearly had the partnership with Logitech, which ended up not working well. And now the G Cloud is out. Uh, that's interesting. That makes sense that EA was into that. I, I wish we had less cloud ones and more like full fat ones. But I think cloud ones are like cheaper and easier to produce. So I think people people really want. Cl I think developers really want cloud to happen, but people don't want it as much. So, <laughs> uh, but there are a lot of cloud devices coming out from smaller companies as well. I had some email me that seems pretty interesting. Uh, so that would be pretty cool. That'd be cool. Tell force them to do it, dude. Make them do it. All right, let's enter with a bunch of people. Sure. All right. My first dungeon in, in 14. I guess I'm healing. Oh, a light. Oh, crap. So should I heal or, or also do damage? I kind of want to do both. The problem is with full native PC is that you don't have a monopoly on software hardy. Yeah, that, yeah, that's very true. That is very true. That's like the only reason Steam's able to like hit that price point. And Rog Ally has, you know, Aces has like a lot of experience in finding parts and getting cheap stuff. So it would be tough for a software company like EA. I don't think they can make enough money on like the origin store or whatever. Some of them have the software, Aces has more. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely. There's a few companies who can do it. Um, so yeah, I totally understand that. Yeah, I, I would love to, whoever asked earlier, uh, I, I agree, I think a, a Steam Deck only channel is a little too niche. That was never my intention though, and it still isn't. It's just kind of what we're doing right now. I have some stuff coming up with uh, some emulation handhelds that I'm gonna be doing, and some interview stuff at LTX, and maybe some ROG Ally stuff. Um, and some other technology stuff that I actually got sponsored to do that I think is super cool, but not necessarily like Steam Deck oriented at all. So expect some, expect some other stuff. There's gonna be some other stuff. Uh, Intel is getting Asus investment to make the new the new NUC. So hopefully this can result in better, cheaper hands by Asus in the future when Asus is now more hands of smaller hardware. Yeah, they completely just gave up on NUC. Asus is gonna take over, man. They're killing it right now. I love, it seems like the last two or three generations of laptops, Asus has always been like on top in terms of like uh, uh, 
into it, not intuition. What's it called? Doing new things and creating new devices and like new ways to cool them. And like Asus has been on top of it. And that's, that's been fantastic to see. Dude, can we get a, a, a steam, a valve, uh, what's it called? A valve laptop. Like we had the steam, the steam, uh, steam deck, of course. We had steam machines, which were desktop PCs that were kind of like consoles. Let's get a steam laptop. I would love to see what Valve could do with that. Was that it? That was the whole dungeon? Brian, this game sucks. Was that really it? It says enter, Sastasha. I did. I, I just did. What happened? It didn't give me the quest. Enter Sasha with a party of other players. Oh, I think I accidentally joined a guild test. <laughs> so that wasn't Sastasha. Damn it. I hate this game. I would love to see a handheld with a DGPU, but that would be miles away, and the DGPU would have to run below 20 watts in order to get good thermals, plus the price would be insanity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not really possible at this time. Um, but what's interesting is that to think even just five years ago, people thought the Steam Deck wasn't possible. You know what I mean? So things can change very quickly. Like battery technology can change, powers can change. Like things just happen very quickly. So don't lose hope. You never know. In uh, just some crazy breakthrough in technology is all it takes sometimes. And we could get some crazy stuff. Dude, people in this game are so nice. Every time I enter a dungeon, people are like, hey team, hey ya. Hey guys. And whenever I enter a dungeon, wow, it's like they just like call me the N word. You know what I mean? Like, they're just bad people. I think the community in this game is much better than WoW. Less toxic. Let's see. Do I actually have to heal? Oh, oh, or, oh, we're pulling a bunch. Okay. Do I have to heal? I'm supposed to be the healer, but I kind of just want to do damage. I'll keep an eye on him. These guys don't even know they're on a stream right now. Like, they're just acting normal. Oh, I guess I should heal this guy. Oh, there's no line of sight? I can just heal whenever? That's good to know. And it seems like there's, like, no mana. I can just burn my mana no matter what. Like, people, like... I have 10,000 mana. When will I ever go oom? Oh crap. He's pulling a lot. Uh, okay, I might just have to heal. <laughs> He's kind of pulling a lot. That's okay though. Uh, Kush says, I think if AMD releases more of their affordable Z line, so the Zen uh, mobile CPUs, in the, oh no, the Z line of mobile CPUs in the future, that'd be cool. I would love to see maybe a Ryzen 3 tier CPU, but with the full fast 780M graphics of the extreme. Yeah, I think, I think uh, AMD has gotten really good lately. <laughs> like, uh, their, um, their CPUs at the very least have been doing great lately. Like the ones in laptops are like more energy efficient and they just less hot and just pump out as much power as they can. And now we've got the ROG Ally just dominating the Steam Deck in terms of raw performance. So I think, yeah, I think if anyone's gonna do it, AMD, even though the Steam Deck's AMD as well, but I'm just saying in that small amount of time, um, man, yeah, AMD is just killing it. I wonder if Intel can make anything that competes right now at that level for the, like the mobile. I think it'd be too hot. I think if you had an Intel chip in there, it'd be too hot. But I'm not an expert on that kind of stuff, so who knows? I remember somebody on Twitter made their own 3D printed hand on the Steam Deck shell by gutting a cheap Ryzen based AliExpress mini PC. That is awesome. I, I actually follow a guy on YouTube who is very small, very few followers. His name is CNC Dan. And CNC Dan is uh, an Australian man who is not good in front of the camera, but he is a wizard uh, with everything else. And he he kind of does the same thing. 
he is taking a nook and designing his own shell with uh, a, a 3d printer and a cnc machine and he's also like making upgrades to it like adding uh a little screen to put like the battery percentages and he's like and he goes through his whole process i think he only has like three videos but they're all pretty cool i uh, would definitely check him out because if you if you like that yeah it's kind of the same thing but he's actually like the gutted nuck it's like an old timey nuck that he's trying to use and it's it's not cost effective of course a steam deck would be way better but just seeing the process and seeing um seeing something stay out of the landfill is like super exciting to me yeah he made that nuck deck yeah yeah yeah. super cool do i click this oh oh someone did okay how long have i been going oh i've been two hours Ooh, it's longer than i thought I need to get dinner after this. Yeah, I would love a world where it is actually possible to do like um, handmade or homemade Steam decks out of like old Nux or even like, like have you seen there was that one person, I can't remember who did it, but they made uh, the Wii into a handheld, but you have to like cut the board in half that is like so fantastic. I love that. And just reusing old, uh, do I need any of this? Yeah, need, uh, and need, um, using old stuff to make new stuff and keeping it out of the landfill is fantastic. Having a Wii, cause you can, you can emulate anything on a Wii. Dude, these guys are crazy. Is he even wearing clothes? That character is naked. Sheesh. Oh, oh. Uh, it's been two hours. I'll give it about 10 more minutes, then I'm going to go ahead dinner. So thank you, everyone who's been watching. I really appreciate it because I did not expect anyone to come in so i appreciate y'all being here appreciate you kush love talking to y'all this is what it's all about for me i love talking to y'all i love hearing what y'all think and having them back and forth let me tell y'all y'all are much smarter than like the average twitter user or the average uh t tiktok user <laughs> my goodness have y'all seen TikTok commenters. It is a nightmare. Some of the dumbest people I've ever met. <laughs> it is a nightmare. I will post a TikTok that's like a joke. It's like just satire. And in the comments are a bunch of like either dumb people or children or maybe both. I don't know. Like they are just very foolish. Shout out to the YouTube commenters who actually aren't a fool. Man, this guy's pulling everything. He's lucky I know how to press a button. What if I was new? What if I was new to MMOs? This guy would be dying for sure. Come on. Why isn't he wearing any clothes? <laughs> You obtain a quarter key, okay. Oh, wait, are we over there? Oh god. We're over here. All right. Whatever. It's good to finally do a dungeon. My character's a healer, and it's been very slow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do 
But where's the end? Where is the end? It's so hot in here. It's like 90 degrees now. I am sweating my butt off. if we can get a world where every hardware developer pairs up with a software developer and makes a handheld that would be fantastic so like logitech hardware developer paired up with tencent software developer but also hardware developer because i think they developed the hardware as well and made the g cloud and it's overpriced and kind of sucky but they made it work so how do we get like um like Epic Game Store. You know, Epic Game Store could make their own handheld. They have money. <laughs> they could pair with, with someone to like share the money because you know they don't have any hardware experience. Valve at least had some. They've made like Steam Links, they've made controllers, they've made machines. Uh, but as far as I know, Epic Games doesn't have any hardware experience. So they would have they could pair with someone. And they can make up a, a handheld pretty easily, I feel like. Is that bad? Is that good? So, man, imagine you go, there's a world where you go to Best Buy or you go to Menards and there's like a whole list of handheld PCs that are just uh, ready and available and they all kind of work. So, thank goodness for the ROG Ally because they're the ones who kind of started that. What is this? Oh, is this the end? Oh, go, go, go. Any debuff with a blue bar on the top of the icon can be removed with Asuna. Any debuff. Okay. Thank you. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, the blue bar. That's not blue bar. Man, people are nice. I didn't know what I was doing, and he actually like helped me. He, he did something. So he said something that helps me. He didn't just yell at me. This is crazy. This is nothing like WoW. Usually new players are like, ugh, they suck. They know not. And then they say, good game, take care all. Jeez, people are so nice. Okay, well, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. If you stayed here this long, thank you to all the commenters who came in, talked to you, I love talking to you guys. If you made it this long and it is not July 26th yet, you can click on the link in the description. It's a giveaway link for a Steam backplate. Uh, it's gonna ship worldwide, so don't worry about that. And void where prohibited, no purchase necessary, blah, 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 blah. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if this VOD or this live stream brought value to you, please like it. Uh, and I super appreciate it. Thanks. See you later. See ya. Bye bye.